preview is brought to you by Dollar Shave Club. Hey guys, Nick here for Rev3 Games, and I just got the chance to check out the new Steam Controller from Valve, which apparently, according to the guy I talked to, there are only 10 of in the world. These are the 3D printed prototypes that they've been making in their offices up in Washington, and they brought them down. Uh, you may have seen pictures of this new model. It's the one with a face buttons and a like D-pad and a few things. And this is actually my first time playing with the Steam Controller. They have a few games uh, that they're demoing here with it. They've got Strider, Portal 2, Broken Age, Dirt 3, and Towerfall. So I'll start with the stuff that I thought was good. Um, Broken Age felt fantastic on the Steam Controller uh, just because it's a perfect analog for a mouse and keyboard. So it almost felt like using a trackball. They've got this really weird haptic feedback in there, so it kind of vibrates under your finger as you move it. Like every, every actual millimeter you move it, it feels like it vibrates a little, which felt great. Um, it also made sense for Broken Age because it's sort of a turn-based adventure game, so you don't really need real-time action feedback. On the other side of things, uh, Towerfall felt kind of terrible with it. Um, I, maybe I'm just used to playing Towerfall on a 360 pad, but there's this weird dichotomy of like, when you, there are two ways to press those pads. Um, there's either putting your finger on it and touching it on there, or holding it down like a button, and every time you're touching it, you're moving, and for a game like Towerfall, which requires a lot of precision, that felt a little bit crazy. I don't think that that's the right game for the Steam Controller, and if Valve was picturing this being a controller that used for everything, I frankly don't think they're there yet. What it's more exciting for me as a, a sort of semi-new PC gamer is as a controller that you use for the games that you couldn't use a 360 controller on. So I'll probably keep using a 360 controller for games that are built around a controller like Towerfall, but the idea of playing like Age of Empires 2 HD or Civ 5 using this thing makes a whole lot of sense. Um, one thing to note, all of these games were retrofitted for the Steam Controller except for Portal 2. So Portal 2's Valves and they've set up their own custom configuration that I thought actually felt pretty good. I'd still rather use mouse and keyboard or a controller, but um, stuff like Dirt 3, for example, I found myself not finding the dead zone in the middle of the pad and sliding around it. It kind of reminded me of playing games on an iPhone and using the touchscreen, which is not a very favorable comparison, but I think there's a use case for this controller for those more PC-oriented games. I play PC games on a couch with a 360 controller because I'm a casual piece of shit, and um, the Steam controller seems really helpful for the games that I can't play that way. Like, being able to use this thing to play, I think, maybe, uh, XCOM or something like that might feel fantastic. And I guess it's just a matter of time of seeing how it is once the thing comes out. They're crowdsourcing all of the different controller layouts since there are thousands of games on Steam, um, which I think is a really smart idea. Um, that kind of solves the problem of having to go through and fit by hand everything. They're kind of letting the community do that, which I think is great. I, I plan on getting one eventually for that half of my Steam library that just goes unplayed because I'm a 360 controller person. But I, I don't know, it's, it's exciting. It's not for every game right now. I don't think it ever will be, but there are totally situations in which you would want to use this thing. So yeah, that's what I thought. So GDC is a game developers conference, but it also, from the looks of things, is a terrible facial hair conference. Uh, that's where Dollar Shave Club comes in. Dollar Shave Club sends razors directly to your front door for the fraction of the cost of buying it in a store. Shave time, shave money. Join now at dollarshaveclub.com slash rev3games.